Hi everyone, welcome to the deep learning with real time text analytics. This is a project for course CS560 knowledge discovery and management under the supervision of Dr. Yang Jing Li. We are project group number 3 and my team here is Kong Ku, Rishab Bojak and Ranshan and yeah, myself Vishnu Chale who will be narrator for this video. So the motivation mainly behind this project is uh, we get information everywhere. The main question is how informative a decision can be made based on the information or the raw information we get. So in this project we try to analyze the movie review and provide some insights from the movie review. So as a background to this project we played around with uh, natural language processing tools like Open NLP, Stanford NLP. So when it comes to the abstract of this project we study, analyze, discuss and implement real time big data which is a text and the text is a movie reviews here so to get the movie reviews we played around with couple of APIs online and we stick to Rotten Tomato API and we downloaded a lot of data using this API when I said data it's always reviews here so we downloaded re movie reviews based on different genre like action comedy and if we tried to it's like the tone of each sentence so to solve the same purpose we followed two different approaches for the first approach we use coreference. So coreference occurs when two or more expressions in a text refer to the same person or thing. So this coreference and we tried to do sentiment analysis we did using Stanford Core NLP. So in the first approach we get an output where we get uh, a score for every coreference topic which is uh, extracted from a review. In the second approach we pass the same review to the TFIDF and Stanford Core NLP. Further, we pass it to the LDA system, which is run on our the Spark system, which is a real time system. So, from the LDA, we try to extract the important subtopics. Um, we can uh, LDA generates a matrix of different uh, subtopics, so we restricted for like five to ten topics. So, what we did is we try to compare the topics which are generated from the first approach and which are generated from the TFIDF and the LDA. Coming to the architecture of the system, the system consists of a central fetch engine which is responsible to communicate with the API, review analyzer and the web GUI. So the web GUI provides an option to the user to search for any keyword of any movie. So the fetch engine actually collects the movie keyword from the GUI and pass it to the Rotten Tomatoes API. This communication is done using the standard HTTP GET request. So the for a specific keyword all the movie IDs will be returned to the web GUI. So when the user s selects on a specific movie, again the mo based on the movie ID, the reviews will be collected from the Rotten Tomatoes API and those reviews will be passed to the review analyzer. So these reviews which arrive at the review analyzer goes through two processes as I discussed before. The first one is a Stanford Core NLP where we do core reference and sentiment analysis. So the reviews which come here will be displayed in the GUI with a specific score and the keyword. So the score which we are getting at Stanford NLP are like 0 to 5 where 5 being the more positive and 0 being the more negative review for a specific co-reference topic and when it goes to TF-IDF we are using the XML format to communicate between the review analyzer and the subtopic extraction the XML will be passed again to the LDA which is run on a Spark system where we get different subtopics so this spark system is not con uh, connected to the GUI. The reason being the spark system is taking more than 25 seconds to consume every review. So right now we are doing it only in the single cluster. So it, for every review it's taking 25 seconds. So when, for every movie approximately we are getting around like 30, 40 reviews to con uh, for the LDA system or the spark system to process all the 40 requests and send it to the GUI. It takes a lot of time. So in this project we are just restricting ourselves to just display the spark system output in the console and the core reference output in the web GUI. Anyway we are still uh, comparing both the results. Let's have a quick demo of both the approaches. This is the GUI for the Stanford core NLP approach. User will be provided a set option where he can search for the keyword and the movies related to the search will be displayed on the left side. When the user selects on a specific movie the reviews which are based on the score will be displayed on the right side along with the topic which from the core NLP. So these reviews are scored based on the thumbs, one thumb down, it's below average, neutral, one thumb up and one thumb down. 
something good one thumb up and the best review both thumbs up so let's consider a specific review from this and compare the same with the LDA approach let's see what LDA finds out for the same uh, review and see how, how the subtopics are different from Stanford code NLP to the LDA so this is the LDA let's start executing the LDA script for the same review you can see the execution there and and here yeah here we get the results so these are the topics which are extracted from the LDA these are quite different from the Stanford Core NLP so this wraps up the video for deep learning with real-time text analytics for the spring semester CS 560 course thanks for watching